Okay, so we've got our header logo in here. Now we're going to style this menu. And you're not going to believe how cool it is, this menu styling. I'm not even going to show you the default thesis styling because I'm going to show you something that you wouldn't believe you can do without code. Okay, so we start styling the nav menu here. And there's already a menu package created, so we're going to edit that menu package. Notice that the CSS selector that it applies to is menu. That's going to be important to us in a minute. Our font size, we're going to make 17 pixels. Our font weight is going to be bold. Our font variant is normal. Our text transform is going to be none. Our text align will be center. We can leave one pixel letter spacing here for just a minute. Our link settings for links our text color is going to be a green color. Whoops. So that's our text color. Our text decoration will be none. Our background color will be transparent. This is also something you couldn't do in the old thesis. You couldn't say background color transparent. Our hovered links are going to be white. Again, text decoration none. Background color will still be transparent. We're not going to do anything with active current or current parent links, so they will inherit what happens above. In terms of menu item padding, we're going to give our top padding 45 pixels, our bottom 45 pixels, our right padding of 11 pixels, and our left padding of 11 pixels. And you'll see why I'm doing this 45 pixels in just a minute and our border settings is going to be none. Okay, go ahead and hit save to this. Oh, actually, it's one other thing we need to do. Menu padding. Oh no, that's right, that's what we gotta do. And hit save. Now, actually this is save and compile so you can see what's happening here. Okay. So now we've got that going on. Now what we're going to do is put a graphic behind each one of these things. And that means we're going to create some new packages. We're going to create a menu link package and we're going to create a menu link hover package so that we can put background images in here. So we're going to go ahead and add a package, but this time it's going to be a single element style. So far everything we've done is a, is a column package, but this is going to be a single element style select add package and the name for this one is going to be menu link the reference will be menu link the CSS selector is going to be dot menu and then thesis applies its styles to the link part of the menu so it's going to be menu a that's the selector this is going to apply to Let's copy that so we have it. In our options, we're going to ignore font settings, but we're going to come over here to background and we're going to select a background image. Now, in order for us to do that, we actually have to have a background image that we're going to use. And so we're going to use the thesis images section for doing that. So first, we're just going to hit save. We'll come down here and put our reference. Okay and then come over to images and we're going to upload some images. So choose the file and okay well first we'll start off with these two images. These are two background images that we'll be using. Oh you can only upload one at a time I guess. Okay. Add the image. Choose another file. Add that image. Now we'll choose our menu files and and that was barking chihuahua I guess I'm gonna to have to look at the thumbnails okay blue menu circle Add the image. 
and then we're going to take the green menu circle I'll add that image okay now see these bit of information here we want to know what the URL is for our CSS. Now in this case what we're going to do is we're just going to copy images green circle ping. The whole thing is we don't, well let's just copy the whole thing but I don't think we're going to end up using the whole thing. So we come back over to CSS, go down to menu link, go to options and background and background image. See, I don't think this is going to work. I think what we have to do is delete that and delete that. Actually, we also have to delete this other thing here. And this is the relative path to our skin folder for our images. And just to make sure this is right, we're going to save this. We're going to save and compile this. Come over and take a look at it. Okay, I guess that was menu link, menu link. Did I do that right? I did. So let's uh let's let's see if this is what I was supposed to put in there. Save and compile. Maybe I'd failed to save it the first time. Somebody says I added a slash to header. You're absolutely right. You are absolutely right. That threw everything off. Okay, let's come back and take that URL stuff back out of there. Because all we need is the URL and we can use the relative URL. You could also use the your media library for this. But the nice thing about doing it this way is it makes it portable with your skin. Okay, so we saved that. We save and compile. Good call on that, Steve. Okay, so I see I'm going to have to change my current for just a second here, but oh, and we didn't set repeats properly and we need to set widths for this. So we'll come back over and let's go to menu, the main menu link first, or the main menu one. And let's go down to link settings and to current links. Yeah, it's got the background color defined there. If we take out all that definition, that'll be good. Actually, let's make sure. Let's make sure there's no definition for the rest of it too. So current links I took out. Current parent link, no background color. Active link, no background color. Okay. Save and compile. Whoops. Don't need to compile it yet. Because now what I need to do is come back over to my menu link thing and in my background tell it no repeat and in background position we'll say top center and then in our and then we'll scroll down here to width and we'll give it a width of 88 pixels actually I also want to give it a little bit of margin so let's see under margin I'm gonna give it 10 pixels of left margin and I want to move the menu down from the from the tagline so I'm gonna give it 40 pixels of top margin whoops okay there we go now all we need to do is put the hover thing in here and we're going to be good to go. And essentially what that means is we're going to create another menu link, although it's going to be menu link hover.
add a package of, of a single element style menu link hover and the reference will be that again we're going to be referencing menu a colon hover for the hover condition under options the only thing we're going to have to change is the well let's save this for a second the only thing we're going to have to change is the image URL so let's go back over to images and let's grab that image URL come back over to CSS menu link hover options background background image it'll inherit everything else the sizes and the position and everything else so the only thing that changes is the image itself so we hit save save and compile refresh it and now you have a menu that looks like no other thesis menu you ever saw right now obviously we have to move this header around and actually I want to fix this tagline here first before I move the header around so let's fix the tagline and the tagline is this right here site tagline and come over to options and for our text color I'm going to use dark brown let's see yeah okay use that color there and I'm gonna take the font up to 20 pixels I'll leave the default font weight default we don't care about line height in this case the font style is gonna be the same font variant text transform default we won't change any of that stuff we're not gonna change the background I don't think we'll have to change padding and margin we are let's see I do want to change alignment oh text align we're going to text align to center we'll hit save save and compile refresh you know I think we probably make this a little bit bigger and move that up a little so one more time we'll go to the menu link and we're going to change that margin down from 40 I think we'll down to 30 and we'll take our tagline and make it 24 pixels and we'll come over here and refresh it there we go so there's our default menu 